Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today we're going to look at a text replacement tool that is available on macOS, iOS and iPadOS. It's from Amoeba Labs and it's a great utility called SA. At least I believe it's called SA, it's spelt e -S -S -E, and it certainly looks to me like that's how it should be pronounced. It's a completely free utility, which is surprising given the range of transformations that can be executed. Now, as this is a weekly tip video, I'm not going to have the time to cover it on all formats. However, as the premise is very similar, no matter the device, I've decided to show this on Mac OS because it's easier to view the transformations by having multiple windows open at once. Now, first, just to show you where you can get SA from, and it is indeed available on the Mac App Store. As I say, it's free and I've already downloaded and installed it prior to recording so that I could set a few things up for you. Now, if I close the App Store, we can see what I've prepared. So on the left here is the main SA window. Now, you will see when we work through the video that to use SA, you don't actually have to have this application window open at all. There is a menu bar component that is extremely powerful. And this is for looking at how your transformations will look in real time. You would input or paste some text here on the left. And when you apply your transformations, you will see how it looks on the right. Then I've created a couple of text edit documents here. So one has some messy text in here that we're going to lift out. And we're going to paste the cleaned up versions of the text down here in this window. Now, if you decide that you have a use case for a tool like SA and you want to give it a try, then you're going to spend most of your time using the menu bar utility, which is available up here. And when you click, you will see there are eight core categories of transformation. And if you hover over one, they're going to split out to the left and you can select the one that you would like to apply. So for cleaning here, we can remove duplicate lines, empty lines, line numbers, and much more. Then across to case, where we have transformations solely focused on changing the case of the text. So we can convert it to camel case, we can capitalize all the words and more, some of which I've never actually heard of before. Okay, let's see it in action now. I'm gonna come down and select these lines of text here. We can see they have line numbers at the beginning and there are numbers at the end as well, which is important for this particular example. Now with all of that highlighted, I'm gonna copy this text to the clipboard by pressing Command and C. And that's an extremely important premise to understand, but also very simple. SA will carry out the transformations that you select on the contents of your clipboard. So with that text on the clipboard, I can come up to the menu bar. I'll go to cleaning, then remove line numbers. The contents of my clipboard has now changed, which we will see clearly when I come down to my empty document here and press command and V to paste. It's removed the line numbers from the beginning and also from the end because this particular transformation checks the beginning and the end of the lines for numerals. To confirm it doesn't just remove all numbers, I'm going to undo that paste with Command and Z and I'll pop some numbers into the middle of these lines here. Just make sure they've got spaces there, otherwise they're not going to be recognized anyway. And now I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to highlight and copy. Come up to the menu bar, come down to remove line numbers. Let me just shorten this menu bar here. And now down to the empty document and I'm going to paste in the transform text. And we can see that it's got the numbers in the middle. I just wanted to validate for you there that the transformation doesn't just remove all numbers, but it will take those at the beginning, at the end, and it will remove them. Okay. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.